Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to welcome you back to the third panel of today's event. And also it is a pleasure for me to have been asked to host today's afternoon academic expert panel on the future of Europe dialogue regarding digitalization. It has been about five years ago that I last hosted a similar event regarding online freedom of speech organized by the then Minister of Justice, Laszlo Trochani, who was supposed to moderate today's panel but cannot be here due to a last minute engagement, but he sends his regards. My name is Martin Shuyok and I teach and research constitutional law and human rights. And I have to say that when we think about digitalization in Europe, both law in general and human rights might suffer from some of the effects of digitalization that we are here to discuss today. Uh, last time I spent more time on this was about 10 years ago when I did a short research leave in Belgium at the uh, Center for Informatics and Law, <laughs> whose uh, research focus was then, so, well, about five years ago, uh, adjusted to focus on law, society, and information. And this is why we are, we are here today to discuss these three issues, law, society, and information, uh, and information technology to be exact when we talk about the future of Europe and digitalization. And when I first saw today's conference title and the panel title, uh, which is digitalization and the European citizen, how to ensure an ethical transition, I immediately thought of a, uh, of a book written by Dan Brown, Digital Fortress. And Digital Fortress is a book that examines human rights issues, privacy, civil liberties, and it also focuses on uh, ingeniously complex codes that have the potential to cripple entire communities as well. And obviously we are here today to talk about artificial intelligence uh, is one of the topics obviously. So we might just see how ingenious these codes are and what the effects that they might have on Europe are. Uh, I do not want to spend too much time on the introduction as you are not here to listen to, to me speak, but I just want to say that whenever we address issues of big data, online freedom of speech, or the regulation of artificial intelligence, obviously, besides the legal approach, the ethical approach surfaces as well. And our presenters, our panelists today will also look at digitalization from the side of legal arguments, legal approaches, and also ethical arguments and approaches. Uh, in the morning's panels, one of our presenters today talked about opening Europe's digital decade. What I'm foreseeing for today's afternoon is a digital one and a half hours for Europe, 